Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Block Volume Part 2 Hi, I clearly understand that Block Volume is a feature-rich block storage platform that meets all workload performance needs. Exactly. Now Oracle has added some additional features too. Interesting. Please tell me more. Sure. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Block Volume now offers a feature called Clone that allows a deep disk-to-disk -disk copy of an entire existing block volume to a new volume without needing to go through a backup and restore process. It creates a point-in-time deep copy of a source volume, also known as Thick Clone, directly without a backup. For example, if you're running an application like Oracle eBusiness Suite, you can use it to quickly create multiple development or test copies of your production environments, so you can troubleshoot problems or test out configuration changes without impacting production. Cloning and attaching to a development or test instance takes a few seconds, while a full backup and restore would take several hours. You can clone any block volume, regardless of its size, in a matter of seconds, without the associated costs and without the hassle of the backup and restore process. Are there any updates on backups? Yes. Now, backups can be automated and scheduled based on policies. You can opt for predefined backup policies. Each backup policy has a set frequency and retention period. The retention period for annual full backup is 5 years. Monthly incremental backup is 12 months. Weekly incremental backup is four weeks. Daily incremental backup is seven days. These backup policies are categorized as bronze, silver, and gold. Bronze policy. The bronze policy includes monthly incremental backups run on the first day of the month. This policy also includes a full backup run yearly on January 1st. Silver policy. The silver policy includes weekly incremental backups that run on Sundays. This policy also includes monthly incremental backups and a full backup. Gold policy. The gold policy includes daily incremental backups. This policy also includes weekly incremental backups, monthly incremental backups, and a full backup. When you attach a block volume, you can specify two options for access, read or write. This is the default option for volume attachments. With this option, an instance can read and write data to the volume. Read only. With this option, an instance can only read data on the volume. It cannot update data on the volume. Specify this option to safeguard data against accidental or malicious modifications. Interesting. Please tell me more about creating volumes. Sure. Log in to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. To create a volume, click Block Storage, and then click Create Block Volume. In the Create Block Volume dialog box, fill in the required volume information. Name, a user-friendly name or description. Domain, must be in the same availability domain as the instance. Size must be between 50 gigabytes and 32 terabytes. As mentioned earlier, you can choose in 1 gigabyte increments within this range. The default size is 1024 gigabytes. Backup policy. Select the appropriate backup policy for your requirements. If you only require on-demand manual backups, select none. Tags. Optionally, you can apply tags. Finally, click Create Block Volume. The volume will be ready to attach after a brief provisioning window. Once it becomes available, you can see the newly created volume in the detailed volume list in your current compartment. To attach a volume, click Compute. In the Instances list, select the instance you want to attach to the volume. Click the name of the instance to display the instance details. In the Resources section on the Instance Details page, click Attached Block Volumes. 
Then click Attach Block Volume. Select the volume attachment type, iSCSI or Paravirtualized. Select the volume you want from the Volume drop down menu. Select the access type, Read or Write or Read Only. Click Attach. If the attachment type is iSCSI, you will need to connect to the volume first. You can now view the attached block volume. To back up a volume, click Block Storage. Click the Action icon next to the volume for which you want to create a backup, and then click Create Manual Backup. Enter a name for the backup. Select the backup type. Optionally, you can apply tags. Finally, click Create Backup. The backup will be completed after a brief creating window, and you will see it in the volume list when it becomes available. To assign policy-based backups, click the action icon next to the volume for which you want to create a backup, and then click Assign Backup Policy. Select the appropriate backup policy for your requirements. Click Assign Backup Policy. You can view the backup policy in the list of block volumes. To clone a volume, click the action icon next to the volume for which you want to create a clone and then click Create Clone. Enter a name for the clone, and then click Create Clone. The volume is ready for use once it's listed as available in the volume list. At this point, you can perform various actions on the volume, such as creating a clone from the volume, attaching it to an instance, or deleting the volume. To easily manage your boot volumes on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, Find your instance in the console, click Compute, and then click Instances. A boot volume is created automatically when you launch a compute instance. The instance is live within a minute. Click the boot volume to view the details and manage it in the Storage tab of the console. In the event of a hardware failure or misconfigured OS, the boot volume may require troubleshooting. To do this, stop the instance and then detach the boot volume from it. Now attach the boot volume as a block volume to another instance to troubleshoot the issue with the boot disk. Click Attach. The suspect boot volume is now attached as a block volume to another instance. After you've finished troubleshooting, click Detach and reattach it to the original instance that was stopped. Click Attach. Now restart the instance. Even when you terminate a compute instance, you have the option to save its boot volume. Thanks for the exhaustive overview on the features of Block Volume. You are welcome. As you can see, Block Volumes on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure have built-in durability and run on redundant hardware offering consistent high-performance and industry-standard connectivity. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.